What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Have you guys been seeing like these TikToks? Like, you know, I'm a blank blank. Of course I do this. I'm a blank blank. Of course I do that, right? I think it's like really corny. And I think it's really, really stupid. But of course somebody likes it, so I don't know why they like it, but I always see those particular TikToks. And um, anyways, I saw this one that's been trending. This woman who has been um, making fun of single moms, okay? A lot of single moms are mad at this particular TikTok. I want to play the clip and then I'm gonna come back. I'm a black single mom. Of course I chose a man to leave me during my pregnancy because I want the added responsibility of taking care of one human by myself. God, I love hard work. I'm a black single mom. Of course we just want to lock our kids in the room, eat crab legs with our homegirls, and drink Casamigos. I'm a black single mom. Of course I wear my bonnet everywhere, especially when I go back into the defects office for food assistance and Medicaid. I'm a black single mom. Of course the goal is always to be on section eight because we don't really want to pay bills anyway. I'm a black single mom. Of course the $37 in child support I get is gonna cover my bills, my hair, my nails, and your child's needs as well. I'm a black single mom. Of course I get mad when black men tell me I'm going to die alone as a single mom because they're all going overseas to find a wife that's submissive, puts them first, and plays dumb while they're cheating on them. So in the comment section of that video, so many women are upset. So many women saying that, hey, she's not even African American. We don't know who she is. How would you um, put single moms down like that? Um, you know, I, I just hearing a whole bunch of myriad of things that were going on in that particular, uh, comment section. And I was taken aback because they're saying, you know, a lot of black men think that that's the case. That's the way it is. You know, she had the bonnet on and of course there are some exaggerations, right? But the, but, but here's something that we're not really dealing with. There are some of those things that the lady is describing in that clip that a lot of men can either resonate with or they have seen it somehow i'm not trying to say it's true all of, all of it but they can resonate with it and the one thing that she has pointed out in that that i feel that is very consistent is that there are a lot of men who find that dating women with kids is something that's not beneficial for them that's what she's really pointing out that right is that okay yes you have ladies who wear bonnets yes you have ladies who don't get along with their baby daddy yes you have two situations what, what 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 it looks like is she's making fun of people who make decisions that are consistently bad and to a man it's troubling and while we want to say that yeah it was out of pocket yes it was out of context i don't think that we can get around the fact that many men feel like that if I combine my life with this particular person's life, somehow I feel like, you know, me personally, I'm going to be impacted in a certain way. I think that's what guys think. Not only do I, do, do I feel like I think that I feel like, I feel like that's the case. I feel like most guys feel like, you know, this is kind of what I, I'm, I'm trying to stay away from. And maybe I don't even want to see if I can even give a lady a chance that may have a kid just because I felt like, man, you know, it's just not going to work out in my favor. And the unfavorable part of what she's talking about is a reality for a lot of black men. This does not mean that single mothers cannot be a good companion. It cannot be a good wife. It cannot be, um, you know, a, a fulfilling relationship. I, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of guys who can, who can attest to that. But the reality of it all is when guys may see that a woman is a single mother, 
they could play that stereotype in their head. Like all the things that she's talking about. I feel like most guys look at the worst of it all instead of looking at the 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 positives. Because there's also positives in certain situations too. You know, a woman that might might have a kid doesn't mean that she's a bad person. You know, but guys are gonna look at well a, a lot of the a lot of the negativity things, a lot of negative things. It's let me just say. For a guy, and, and, and a lot of men dating a um, a woman that has a kid, okay? It could be the equivalent of a woman dating a man that is unemployed, okay? Because a man is unemployed, that don't mean he's a bad man or he gonna always be that way. Don't mean that. But a woman who feels like a man is unemployed or he didn't graduate college, who knows though? Oh, he can't take care of me. Oh, down the line, he's not gonna be a good guy. He can never uh take care of my lifestyle. He can never provide for me. Oh, you know, what about my family? Like they'll start piecing all these things together. And it, it, it could be true, but hey, it could be that that person is a great person. We don't know. But most people don't want to stick around and find out. So, like it was one lady, and I'll just be honest, she was a lady I met, right? Beautiful lady. I mean, the lady was bad too. I saw the sister um, at one of these kind of cultural events, right? And I'm talking about the, I'm talking about, I seen her from someplace. I was with someone, I was like, God damn, who is that? I mean, man, the girl, I mean, the booty was, would have went from here to Tanzania. I mean, that's this beautiful lady, big old booty, right? Chocolate, everything. I seen her, I said, oh Lord have mercy. Jesus, what has, what has, what has thou done, Lord? Oh, I wanted to start speaking in tongues. Shut up. You know, I saw, I saw, I said, God damn, girl, I got to have you in my life tonight. So, you know, I started simping and uh, I bought her, I bought her a drink. She came over there wagging all of that. I said, God damn. I, I, start, I felt like juvenile. I need you in my life. <laughs> I want you in my life. Gonna keep you in my life. And everything was going good, man. And I said, let me let me see your Instagram. So saw the Instagram. Cause I was trying to. I mean, I know I was looking at it. I wanted to actually look at the booty a little bit more on the IG instead of staring at it right there where she was at, right? So I, I kept seeing a little girl come up. So of course, you know, she don't know that, you know, I'm kind of uh, you know, a little, little suspicious, right? So you know, this is in Africa, so I'm like, hey, you know, hey, uh, is this your sister? She's like, no, that's my daughter. And I'm like, damn. You know, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm playing in my mind, like, you know, how I'm going to trick on her and everything. And she's like, you know, it's her daughter. So I'm like, okay. Let me ask another question. Well, where is the dad? What? He don't take care of my daughter. He's a loser. He parties all the time. And it kind of reminds me of like the first statement that happened in the first, you know, like kind of little, little, little comic strip. I'm like, oh, oh man, there you go. So I'm like, all right, let me just, you know, keep buying. So she, 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 she called me. She was checking on me and stuff like, when are we going to go out? When I'm going to see you? So I'm trying not to hurt the girl's feelings, man. Cause you know, it wasn't that necessary. She just had a kid, but it was like all, all the other stuff that she was saying, you know what I mean? Like it was a lot of, it was a lot of, it was a lot of, unaccountability and all that so anyways i'm like you know okay so she's like you know i really want to be with you but you're acting like you don't want me you don't spend no time with me. i'm like listen honey, I, had to, I had to break it down and tell her like look you know i'm a busy guy and you know you you kind of got a situation going on right now that you know i kind of want somebody that don't have no kids so you know i and she was real man i never heard from her ever again but it, 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 again like you start you, you start planning in your mind like you know, is there going to be issues on me? It don't have to be true, but most guys look at it negatively. I think in that sort of way, even though it might not be, it, it really takes a brother to like, let's say if you know a lady, let me, let, me, let me tell you what happens. Like if you don't know them, you will do that. But if you like work with somebody, you go to the same church or something like that, then, you know, you'd be like, okay, well, she happens to have a child, but you know, I already know her, but it's kind of like if you come out and tell her like right away you have a you have a kid like most guys would be like they'll instantly start trying to think about the worst possible outcome just like a woman would play the worst possible outcome of like do you have a job nope they're gonna be like oh hell no right 
But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of the Celebrity Drunk. Put your fire, you suit. Sorry, Bill. We're out.